Hello everyone. I am Dr. Karthika from Department of Biomedical Engineering, SNS College of Technology, Coimbatore. Today we are going to discuss about radionuclide generators in medical physics. Here we are going to discuss about why do we need radionuclide generators, what's the purpose of radionuclide generators and what's the use of radionuclide generators in medical field. Okay, first of all, see this radionuclide generator for example and why do we need generators here it is radionuclide generators here uh, we know that uh, the use of short-lived radionuclides has grown considerably uh, because the larger dosages of these radionuclides it can be administered to the patient with only minimal radiation dose and produce excellent image quality here the, this increasing appreciation of short-lived radionuclides has led to the development of radionuclide generators that serve as convenient sources of their production. Okay, uh, uh, while uh, studying about the principle of radionuclide generator, uh, here in, in the generator, a uh, constructor on the principle of a decay growth relationship between a long-lived parent nuclide and short-lived daughter nuclide uh, you know that um, while a parent nuclide which is in unstable state it needs to be stable it emits some kind of uh, radiation also it produces daughter nuclide after emitting or after producing daughter nuclide the parent nuclide becomes more stable here this chemical property of the daughter nuclide it must be distinctly different from that of the parent nuclide so that the former can be readily separated because both parent nuclide and daughter nuclide they are used for different kind of medical applications okay here in a generator basically a long-lived parent nuclide is allowed to decay to its short-lived daughter nuclide and the later is then chemically separated okay uh, here, uh, uh, the importance of radionuclide generator it lies on the fact that they are it is easily transportable and um, as it serves as a source of short-lived radionuclides in uh, institutions like uh, the sites of cyclotron or reactor facility far from the site. It makes the process more convenient and more easier. Okay. Uh, while coming into the history of radionuclide, the first commercial radionuclide generator was 132 technetium generator in early 1960s. Since then, a number of other generator systems have been developed and tried for routine use in nuclear medicine. But the main important source and the main important thing in radionuclide generator is technetium generator. Okay. Here, uh, the structure and mechanism of radionuclide generator, it consists of a glass or plastic column fitted at the bottom with a fritted disc. Okay, here the column is filled with adsorbent material such as uh, caution or anion exchange resin, alumina and zirconia on which the parent nuclide is absorbed. Here, the daughter radionuclide, it grows as a result of the decay of the parent nuclide until either a transient or secular equilibrium is reached within several half lives of the daughter. Okay. Then, uh, here, uh, already we have discussed uh, um, uh, both parent nuclide and daughter nuclide, it has differences in chemical properties. Okay, here after the elution, the daughter activity starts to grow again in the column until an equilibrium is reached in the manner mentioned above. Here the elution activity, it can be made repeatedly until reach the equilibrium condition. Okay, here this diagram, it shows the generator activity levels. Here, the build-up and decay of 19M technetium generator eluted on the days is calculated here. And we have the activity levels from day 0 to day 2. Okay, next one is the real-time uh, radionuclide generator. This is how it looks. And we have the typical 
radionuclide generator system as we have mentioned in the earlier we have eluting, eluting solvent arvind glass column uh, inside the typical generator system and also we have adsorbent material inside and we have lead shield for production and in this adsorbed parent activity and daughter, nu uh, daughter nuclide activity grown is uh, placed inside this generator system and also we have filters this evacuated uh, collecting vial and the eluted daughter activity also have different columns A and B okay okay here see this one here the vial containing the eluent eluent is first inverted onto needle a and another evocated vial is inverted on the other needle of b b contains the evocated collecting vial and eluted daughter activity to reach its equilibrium condition okay see this one here the vacuum in the vial on the needle b draws the eluent uh, through the column and eludes the daughter nuclide leaving the parent nuclide on the column see this one same thing uh, this action it can be repeatedly go goes on until the uh, daughter nuclides equilibrium condition is uh, reaches okay uh, next one is generator produced radionuclide here the technetium 99m has been in the most important radionuclide used in nuclear medicine here the short half-life six hours it has six hours half-life it makes it impractical to store on a weekly supply here the mother isotope is a 99MO which is reactor produced here the supply problem overcome by obtaining a parent MO99 which has the longer life uh, 67 hours and continually produces technetium 99M here this 99MO it can be produced in a reactor or from fission products but it cannot be produced in a cyclotron cyclotron actually it is a beta emitter it's requiring the addition of neutrons not protons anymore that's all about generator produced radionuclides thank you